Hello again, and welcome to our Lifting Spirits Through Music Around the Piano. But we're not around a piano right now, but we're going to be talking with Fika and Erica, and we're going to find out all about them. What's really cool, these are the first people, music people in this show, that of all the interviews we're doing here at the NAM show, that are from the state of Wyoming. So why don't you guys t just tell me a little bit about your background, why you're here at the NAM show, and we'll go from there. My name is Fika. I'm originally from the Netherlands, born and raised, and um, became a full-time musician, toured around the United States, and ended up in the state of Wyoming, uh, where I purchased a small little log home, some land, and tried to live the frontier style. And it didn't go all too well. Um, continuing with music right now, hoping to um, to grow as every musician does, um, get better, and visiting NAM to connect with my old friends ARs from Remo, from Schlagwerk, and some other places, other brands, and uh, it's phenomenal to be to be back here at NAM and uh, see this place grow as well. That's awesome. And Erica, you're also from Wyoming, and you say Central Wyoming near Jackson Hole. Tell us a little bit about your background. Certainly. So I uh, started playing the violin when I was three and quickly turned into a competition fiddler at the age of five, um, hitting my first nationals. And um, started out as a career competition musician primarily. Um, and now I've evolved into to studying many instruments and a lifetime of music. Um, have also toured around the world and um, spend an awful lot of time teaching and sharing music with the local children of Wyoming. I run my fifth generation cattle ranch back in Wyoming. Wow. Um, so that keeps me pretty busy. And uh, NAM has just been a delight to be engrossed in so many wonderfully humble and brilliant musicians. Um, from all across the globe, of all different calibers and all genres, I, you can't even really truly express the beauty and magnificence of NAM until you're here to experience it. Oh, that, that's so very true. Now, how many NAM shows have you attended? This is my very first. Very first one. That's awesome. I think this is like 30, somewhere between 35 and 40. Uh, so we've, we've been here. It, it's, everything you said is true and it's true every year with it so it's it is it's a wonderful way for all musicians to gather and to be here and to share information and to share their talents and uh, it's it's a really good thing now, I find it interesting now you you you're a fiddle player not a violin player but a fiddle player it started, it started with violin yes at three and uh, I actually saw a mountain man on Main Street of our tiny town which is a population smaller than 7,000. 7, and uh, I told my parents I wanted to play that kind of violin. And so we made a deal that if I continued to study my classical, that I could go learn this mountain man thing of fiddling. And uh, within less than about a year, he said I had learned every song under the, that he knew and I needed to find someone else. And uh, my real passion and love evolved into fiddle music and jazz and um, and those styles that allowed a little bit more, I guess, natural expression, if you will. Yes. That's fascinating. And as long as the cattle like it, then, you, then you're good. They love it, right? I'll tell you what, they, they truly love music. That's fa so fascinating. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't we take a couple minutes. Go ahead and give us a little sample of your fiddle playing. Sure. And Fike is going to be here on a, a beautiful cajon there. What kind of what kind of cajon is that? What brand is that? It's a schlock work. Okay. 25 years ago. That was yeah. the very first schlock work that I purchased. And uh, there were not many manufactured schlock or cajons anywhere. So when I was touring, I had my backpack on with my schlock work cajon. And uh, many drummers and percussionists, they were like, what is that you know so i took it back to the united states and people were just flabbergasted by okay we've heard about this instrument but we've never seen or heard the instruments so that's how it ended up and i experienced a home fire about 10 years ago um, lost all my instruments and uh, schlagwerk is wanting to build my arsenal of music instruments back up again um, and I'm starting slowly again, so, yeah. Wow, that's a very good story. But so you don't give up. You keep on coming back, no matter what kind of adversity happens. It's, thank you. Um, 
music has been a part of a healing process. And it started with myself as a, as a young kid through a lot of trauma and then the house fire itself where I did not only lose my house and all my belongings, I lost two children for the longest time. I was put on some severe medication uh, to numb all the pain that I was going through. And um, thank to God and thank to the music, the gift of music that he gave me, um, the healing pattern is, is moving again and I get to play music with joy with a lot of positive emotion where for a while after the fire I could not even fathom and play music so I'm, I'm back on track and playing having joy again and and healing for myself I also see other people heal through the music that I'm playing so it's 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 a very powerful instrument music yeah you need to lean on it a lot I do in with that story you definitely need to do that play a little something for us tico, tico. all right tico tico no classic. That's awesome. Yeah, right? Isn't that great? You never know where music's going to break out at the NAM show. And it does. So I see on your NAM card that you're called the Flaminator. Yes. Yeah. Norwegian Heritage there. There. That's excellent. Thank you guys for being with us. That was so much fun. I'm glad we had time to do that. We'll do this again. And we'll stay in touch. You guys stay in touch with us. And where can people find your music? Where where can they go? Do you have a website? Your Facebook page? Where's the best place to go to find you guys? Well, we're kind of a little under construction. We both have individual social medias, and we're presently inspired um, via Nam to yeah. get our act together on social media. So stay tuned for 2024, and and watch out for Fika Van Dyke or Erica Flom. All right, well, you keep an eye on Lifting Spirits through music around the table, and we'll get that information to you when we get that information from you. We'll stay in touch. We'll see you next time.